business analytics data analytics and mis these three are some of the most confusing programs like students come to me and they tell me we're not sure which to go for you know business analytics or data analytics you know mis or business analytics like these are usually always a point of confusion for most students and i've made sure that in this video you know you will not have an issue i've done a lot of research on these topics and i am 100 sure by the time you walk out of this video you will have everything you need you literally everything you need to make one decision and basically decide on that one program that is the right fit for you okay i'm also going to be using some of my experience as a consultant i've been working i've been working with students so i know which one really sort of you know just suits your profile better so i'm going to give you my personal insights as well i'm going to give you some you know approaches as well that you will find online again i think that the best one would be to really understand what is the sort of outcome you can get so basically if you can understand the outcome that comes out of going into business analytics the outcome that comes out of going into data analytics same for mis so i think that should help you understand what really you're interested in best and uh, i think that will really give you everything you need over here if your interests and your outcomes match that's the program for you right so that's what we're going to do over here we're going to talk about the interests the courses and the outcomes bottom up so outcomes come first okay so if you're interested in the video let's watch now every time i take a look at this camera i'm sitting in front of it and the first thing that comes to my mind is that i really need to you know take uh, get a haircut like i need to do something about this but anyway that's not something that seems very very possible right now due to lockdown so <laughs> yeah we're going to have to bear with that for a, a couple maybe videos and all right i'll get into the video now i'm going to i'm going to talk about all the outcomes that you can get um, these are the sort of outcomes that you should be looking for you know in your programs if your interests align with that so let's continue watching okay the first thing over here this person by the way he done his bachelor of technology in 2013 then he moved on to his business analytics program in 2018 okay he finished it in 2018 now one thing you want to see over here is the gap 2013 to 2017 he was working in the industry as an analyst as you can see over here analyst analyst first two rules this is important this is an important thing to know because one thing that i've noticed is that most people that i work with even if they want to apply for business analytics programs and they do not have at least 3 or 4 years of experience they are rejected most times it's not that they are rejected every time you you will find a university that will give you the admission but the university that you really deserve and your profile really deserves it might not do so much justice to that so experience is one big point and you should always keep that in mind that all right i need some experience if i want to go for msba program that's very very specific to that okay and if you have some experience in, as an analyst that will help you out even more as it did in the case of this person okay um finally you can see that he's become a data scientist now after his program you know starting 20, 2018 he's been working over here and then he moved on to visa the kind of things that he's doing is delivering analytic solutions and research driven insights summarizing trends within the customer consumer lend, lending industry by leveraging comprehensive financial data of the entire US population so uh, i'll just summarize that paraphrase that you know so essentially if you know you're analyzing the financial data of the entire US population and then you're checking out the trends that appear in the consumer lending industry so you know consumer lending so in that industry they're summarizing the trends driving some you know insights after doing some research understanding how they can make more profit out of this consumer lending industry so these are the sort of things that you can you know potentially look at in the case of business analytics okay one thing over here you're going to get a couple more points right now um i'm going to show you so one thing that we've also derived is that you can get into data science roles data scientist roles after a business analytics program okay let's take a look at one more over here she's done her business analytics from 2018 her previous program was bachelor's in technology and now she's moved on to you know she was already working as a business analytics as you can see uh business analyst as you can see and this just goes to show that you know you need some experience again like i said almost every profile you will find you need some experience okay again she's worked as an assistant manager as well in advanced analytics and then she moved on and you know completed her masters while doing that she might have done this uh, data analyst um over here internship i'm not sure if it's an internship or a job it appears like it's a job but again you know you can see that what she's essentially doing is 
uh, validated current clients marketing analyst strategy basically you know marketing analytics what is working for the client in terms of his marketing strategy what is not working and basically you know they want to accentuate on what is working so these are the sort of things again i want to make sure that you have this visceral approach over here understand what's actually going on in these all of these you know understand that these people are really working to bring out insights that can boost the business all right and usually you will find that these things are more oriented towards the sales and the marketing fields because that's really where the revenue of the company comes in and these people are basically empowering those fields and you know helping them drive um, into making better decisions day and night all right so that's something that you might want to consider in your decisions um, again one more thing over here you can get into data analyst roles if you go for business analytics okay all right one more profile over here last one I'm just gonna go over it quickly i'm not gonna waste a lot of your time um again she's done her business analytics program over here in 2018 it finished and then she's been working over here um since 2018 in american airlines and you can read the kind of stuff that she does it's very very similar to what you know other people have been doing a little more technical in her case but very very similar okay so again you know it's the same thing now one thing i want to stop you for over here is that you can go onto this decisions page on wiamgrad.com, okay? Go onto this website, decisions page, and what you can do is you can just ask to see all the admits and rejects of the business analytics people, okay? So what you would do is you would select business analytics, you'd search for it, and it would give you all the results of the people. You can actually go on and check their profiles also, like this person basically she has a master's already she's you know uh, I don't know if it's a he or she basically but either way um, these are their scores these are their decisions their resume is hidden because it's uh, it's only available to the people who are logged in basically and so you know it's basically you can see their profiles and you can log in you can see their resume as well so it, I believe that this might help you out in understanding what sort of um, you know profile you should have to actually get into business analytics based programs you also have the university name so you can search with the university name as well for your favorite university okay um, i believe that should help you out um, before moving on to data analytics i want to bring out this you know page on differences this is uh, a page by cmu tepper school of business and they give out the differences very very clearly over here i think this is the best explanation i could find online so i just wanted to bring this out in front of you in data analytics you'll find that courses focus on data operations, including advanced analytics, okay? I'm just gonna read through this and then I'm gonna explain what they mean, okay? Strong mathematical focus, typically geared for professionals with a STEM background. That's for data analytics, okay? And de develop system architects to prepare for advanced analytics. Again, you will find that these data analytics features are very, very similar to what you would see on the business analytics side, but there's a major difference over here, okay? So you'll see in the business analytics one, advanced analytics courses focus on transforming data into insights and competitive business advantages, like I showed you on those LinkedIn pages right now. What they're doing is they're transforming that data, getting insights, and driving the business decisions, right? Again, there's more business corporate communication skills needed to effectively convey findings to leadership. Okay, so how do you, I mean, yeah, you analyze data, you got everything, but you, what, what did you find over here? What is the, what is the evaluation? What is the meat that you got? You want to bring that out to the leadership, all right? And how do you do that? There's a particular way to do that. That's what business analytics is going to help you do. Okay, finally, there's appeals to a STEM audience, but also tailored to varying professional backgrounds. So, you know, the major difference that you would find is that it's, data analytics is very much similar to business analytics, but the only thing is, that it's very much more technical. So if you're someone who wants to keep his technical background, and I'm assuming that you already have a technical background or you wanna go deeper into a technical background, you wanna understand how do you sort of just, you know, basically you're gonna be focusing on, you know, understanding how the data can be used to find out, maybe do analysis and understand what are the sort of things that can be done, but you don't wanna focus so much on presenting it to the leadership, you know, so you wanna, go in 100% over here and you want to deal with databases, you want to deal with how things are carried out, and, you know, how data is crunched and all of that. So yeah, the technical parts, you will definitely be better off going into data analytics, okay? I'm going to show you a couple of these as well. Um, quickly over here, this person has done his uh, her master's degree in data analytics. 
um, and you can see that she's working over here in a business intelligence analyst role. She's also worked in marketing analytics. So again, again, you know, like I said, it's very, very similar to business analytics. You can probably have the same sort of jobs that you can target, but um, if you're looking for more business side of things, then you should go for MSBA. Otherwise, you should go for MS in data analytics. Okay. So last thing, I'm going to show you some of the MIS profiles. Okay. And these are, trust me, MIS is the most common program out of these all three. That's why I kept for the last as well, because um, I wanted you to understand both of those. Now you can understand MIS easily, even if you don't. Okay. So now you can see that this person completed her, her MIS from 2017. Um, before that she did her bachelor's in information technology and she actually had about four years of experience between these time frames okay so four years she's worked as a software developer then she's basically um after that uh, i'm not sure what she did in between she, there definitely is a gap over here but um she hasn't really listed what she was doing after that she worked in boston so yeah th that's really when she went in for her mas program she moved into business intelligence and MIS and you can see the sort of things that she worked on TSQL data analytics and all of that uh, eventually she's working as a quality assurance engineer so you can see that quality assurance is one of the roles that you can consider when you're going for an MIS program uh, let me show you a couple more because that will help you give, get more insight into what an MIS degree entails over here you can see that this person um, has a bachelor's of engineering in computer engineering Again, four years of experience about, I think, no, sorry, in this case, two years of experience, and then they go for their MIS program, right? So before that, they were working at Censure for about a year and a half, and then they basically go on for their, you know, MIS degree at University of Texas, Dallas. And you can see, again, the sort of things that they're doing right now, or, you know, that they were doing right now, this is one, I think, one of the most interesting roles that you can find. It's a digital analyst role. Let me tell you what exactly it is, just to give you a brief insight. Basically, you know about these things, right? Pay-per-click, SEO display, these are all the digital marketing things. Um, whenever you're doing digital marketing, maybe, you know, you see he's performing Google Analytics account audit for clients and providing best practice recommendations, all of these things. So they're basically trying to set up these clients who are working on these e-commerce websites or something, and they're, they're going on and they're helping them sort of boost their online presence, helping them boost their sales and all of that. So they're helping them with their marketing strategy and essentially how they're doing that is with the help of analytics, okay? So when you are working as a digital analyst, so you, you can say that dig digital marketing is just being pref uh, powered by analytics. So digital marketing is being powered by analytics to drive better decisions in digital marketing. I think that's the best I can explain it, but um, if you want to really get into the technicals, see what this person is doing over here, I think you will get a lot more out of it. And these are the sort of things that I think I think I would, you know, I would find very, very interesting to do. I mean, I personally do find these very interesting. You want to research and, you know, understand how these systems work, how you can um, get the most bang for your buck when you're paying, let it be Google or Facebook or whoever you're paying basically for ads, right? So yeah, this is one thing. Um, finally, one more over here. This is the last one I promised you. Um, again, MIS program from UT Dallas, and this person actually went on to uh, work as you know he's see he's doing the same sort of things: marketing analyst, then there's strategy and analytics in, intern at Grubhub, and then data analytics as well, right? So he's working on all of these same fields. You can see that it's very very you know close to what you would find on um, basically if you're Every, any work experience on Tableau or you know all of these things and you can also work on SQL databases and all of these things so yeah it's really about you know analyzing data information systems how to build information systems that are very very robust and can be very very you know basically flexible all of these things come into information systems I'm going to show you some of the courses over here so that you can make a better decision I think this will wrap up the video this will have everything you need finally you've seen the outcomes you've probably you know, if not 100% sure, you're still inclined towards one of these fields. And at this point, you can definitely go in and pick one, right? So the courses will help you do that. Over here, this is the MSBA program at the Northeastern University. I'm gonna show you their courses over here. And these are their core requirements. So check out some of these courses over here, business analytics. And then there's data analysis for business, business analytics methods information visuals and dashboard for business see the part about presenting it to the um, people who have the leadership in their hands 
this is it right data mining machine learning for business is the technical part that comes in before that right and then there's business information design quality strategy you know all of these things so I think that wraps it up that's basically your business analytics program these are usually one year programs and you should definitely have some experience before you go in for them that's my recommendation okay um, next thing over here you're gonna check out on the website of SJSU that's San Jose State University we're checking out the curriculum for um, uh, your basically what are the data analytics programs okay so data analytics what are you gonna study over here like I said it's a lot more technical but very very similar to what the business analytics people are doing so the courses are data mining database management large-scale analytics machine learning data analytics seminar uh, big data technologies so as you can see all these are very very oriented towards you know the the part where you're just preparing the data and trying to drive some analysis out of it it's much more technical when you compare it to business analytics because it does not really have the part where you sort of drive the business decisions or uh, convey your findings to the people who are basically handling the decisions in the company you know so you might not learn how to create the most beautiful reports on Tableau or something but you will have the stuff that you know this is yeah this is how it's done right so the hardest harder part basically <laughs> you might have some more experience with that if you're a data analyst okay and finally we're gonna check out on the website of TAMU that's Texas A&M University um, this is basically your um, program for MIS you can check out the courses over here this is database management you can see over here systems analysis and design you like I said you know information systems you need to know how to design those information systems so that they're robust they're flexible can be changed and altered however you want them to later on as well right accounting concepts and procedures that's one more business information security corporate information planning okay so really how to manage information better and understand how to take care of it make sure that it's secure it doesn't get stolen making sure that all of these security stakes are implemented and you know how to really store the data all of that again over here then there's data warehousing again the same thing and finally information systems design and development so I think that is all that is all that you needed to get out of this video to make sure that you have you know all the information you need to get a very good uh, you know perspective of where you want to go still if you should check I, I, I believe you know you should definitely go ahead and do that check out the people who are taking some of these you know check out over here information systems search for it check out the profiles that get in check out their their resumes check out their profiles and you can also check out the universities and their statistics if you just click on the university you can check out what are the sort of scores and everything you need to get into this university you know so I suppose that's all that's everything I can give you over here um, one surprise over here for you guys if you have stuck till the end I think you should you deserve to get it if you go on over here we actually have a special offer of the year running on Wamgrad and uh, you can go over here you can click on get it now basically what you get over here is free study material you get free SOP and LOR samples this is for everyone who applies and you know uh, actually applies and finally there's also a chance to win the complete application help where you get to work with me directly and I will help you in your applications um, that's actually worth $1,200 but it is free for you guys if you're just applying over here and you get it so we actually cannot really afford to give it away for free to everyone but what we've done is that we have tried to do that in some way so we're gonna pick out one applicant every single month okay and we're gonna basically do it for them for free you know someone who actually needs it and someone who really does apply you know <laughs> so yeah as of now it's all you guys you guys have permitted us to be able to do this um, I'm not sure how long the offer is gonna go on so I would advise if you're you know free right now just go ahead it's a five minute thing go ahead and do it okay um, apart from that I hope this video helped you out it gave you a little more clearer insight into what you want to do in your future where, where you want to go which program you want to pursue in the future okay if you still have any questions and maybe I missed some points hey I'm, I'm only human right so what you should do is you should comment down below and let me know about those points and let your others you know like your seniors maybe or your juniors maybe know about these points that they should know especially your juniors you know it's, it's our responsibility to take care of them so yeah definitely comment down below let me know those points if you have any doubts comment down below let me know those points if you have any suggestions about my awesome hairdo comment down below and let me know because that will probably be the comment that I'm most interested in <laughs> all right um, yeah apart from that 
Um, peace. I hope this video helps. Reach out to me on Instagram if needed. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.